Hi, I'm Andrew, an entrepreneur and a computer science student. Hi, I'm Ruby, a psychology major student. And you're now listening to the Ink Thoughts Podcast, where we ponder and talk about incongruous thoughts ranging from our daily life to the human mind. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ink Thoughts Podcast. And today is a different day as you can already see on <laughs> on your screen that we have a guest with us today. So yeah, so now let me introduce her a bit. <laughs> so hello Yumi, how are you? <laughs> Hi, I'm doing okay. How are you? <laughs> Andrew and Angie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're doing, doing fine. Yeah, yeah, we're great, we're great. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> okay, uh, Yumi, do you, want, do you want to introduce yourself a bit? Oh, okay. Hi everyone, I'm Yumi. I'm currently a student in Monash University, so I'm doing my uh, master's in counseling, and I am Enchi's good friend, a uh, Berlin's good friend, <laughs> <laughs> and we used to be psychology classmates back in our degree years. Shout out to Enchi, uh, shout out to Hui <laughs> and Michelle. <laughs> yeah, that that was really some good old times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so um, okay, may- maybe we can just um, talk a bit more about you. Like, um, what what actually um, makes you decided to you know um, pursue the counseling pathway oh, after graduated? Right. So actually, I've always been passionate about counseling, especially back in my high school years. I have seniors who are actually doing counseling, so that actually mm-hmm. sparked my interest in psychology and also counseling. But then I didn't go straight into the degree in counseling because I thought I want to like keep my options open. Maybe there mm-hmm. are other occupations in the psychology that suits me. But then mm-hmm. I tried to work in the HR department as well and then I realized that, okay, <laughs> maybe I really want to pursue counseling. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, sometimes it it have to be until we try out something that we can really know yeah. is that something that we really want. <laughs> true, true. Yeah. So, uh, how long have, have you been, I mean, doing your course so far? Um, I've been, I think almost one year already. I started back in March last year. So yeah, it's mm. almost one year, but the program is two year program. Yeah, mm. currently doing my practicum, actually. Mm. How is it progressing? <laughs> like, you know, mm. what do you think of it, you know? How is it? <laughs> like, is it something that you like this this time around? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. I, I'm quite grateful that I actually pursue this master's. And mm. so far, I feel like it's very meaningful for me. Although, like, the mm. cost structure is a bit packed. Like, we have to see clients oh. and also a lot of assignments. Everything is quite packed. But then I still feel like it's worth it, it's it's still very meaningful for me, yeah. So it, it's a very fulfilling pro- pro- yeah, it um, is. process for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's nice. That's yeah. nice. Okay. So yes. Um. So yeah. Today, one of the uh, actually, why don't why don't you why don't you oh. talk about the reason why 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 we we invited uh, you meet here? Actually, I was already. <laughs> <laughs> So, so actually, okay. Um, before I, I I go into that, so the topic that we are we are recording today is what do we think about Asians' way of belittling their child? So, this idea just came into my mind. Like, why not we invite Yumi? Because <laughs> I think um, I I've seen a few times on her Instagram story that she post we posted something related to topics like this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh, maybe she might have some interesting <laughs> thoughts that. We have never thought of to share about, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> okay, okay. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Since um, we have nothing else to share about now, so then why not we go straight into the topic itself? Okay, mm-hmm. okay. <laughs> so, you may do, do you actually have any experiences of being belated by your parents? Whoa. <laughs> childhood or, yeah. Oh, this is the start. <laughs> <laughs> the truth. Oh, okay, so actually, when you're talking about belittling, like, right, mm-hmm. what actually they belittle? Like, what comes to your oh. mind? Yeah. Okay, so uh, let, let me start first. Belittling, I guess, um, I, 
I don't know. I guess maybe sometimes uh, Asian parents just tends to stop us from, you know, doing things, doing certain things because they think that um, they are more knowledgeable. They are like, mm. they are... So basically, some, some things that we try to do, maybe we never actually thought through it. It's not something that... Uh, it's worth doing, it's the right thing to do, and then they stop us from doing that. But in fact, um, maybe it's, I mean, not not saying that, because I, I guess tr- at this period of time, I guess many of us will agree that not everything mm. is, that I, I, was, it's, I think it's better to say it this way, there's no such thing as like ultimate right thing to do, ultimate best way to do yeah. things, something like that. So, um, I wouldn't say, uh, like, I would say that the way that they are doing it while we're child, like, like stopping us from doing things just because they think that, you know, it's not right. It's, it's, uh, not the best way. It's like kind of military, mm. but, uh, to their defense, I would say that maybe, you know, they are at that time, they're still exploring as well because they never actually thought that, oh, so, um, I mean, like they, 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 they grew up that way. Like they grew up with their parents doing the same way. And then that's why they, they they exited the same 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 way of education. Yeah. So that for me la, that that is like what I would think as military. Mm. Mm. I actually have some different thoughts like, as mm. in like um sometimes they might be overprotective oh. unconsciously. Like like they know uh, based on their past experiences that um something might not work that well in a certain way. And so when we as a as a child we voice out saying like, oh we want to do this, they okay. the thing that's came into their mind immediately said no it's not go- going to work mm. that's why they 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 will immediately say something to stop us just that sometimes it happens to be a, in a very very negative way that we as a child we feel so hurt or yeah mm-hmm. yeah i get it. i think what andrew just mentioned is like maybe they are like belittling our ability to make decisions they like they yes, don't have yes, confidence yes, yes, yes. in us Be- yes. yeah because Anji <laughs> actually highlighted like uh they feel like based on I mean, regarding the life experience, we don't have mm. as much experience as them. Therefore, they feel mm. like we cannot make wise decisions. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. There's a form of belittling, I feel. But then for me, mm. when it comes to belittling, I go... I mean, the first thing I will, that will come into my mind is the feelings and emotions. Oh. Yeah, yeah. they're like, belittle of feelings. It's like, um, mm-hmm. things that we think is a problem to us they'll feel like no like, it's just no matter ah. mm. oh, okay, okay. that's true that's true yeah. yeah okay okay that's true that's something that I, I yeah actually true mm. that just that it never came out to my mind I guess it happens quite a lot often I guess um, yeah like I I think adults not just parents sometimes adults just think because like, like they have been through a lot so what they call a lot so they think like okay so those are comparing to what they are facing right now is like a lot minor it's like Mm. not worth thinking about and they think that you know because just because from their standpoint they're like oh that's like so minor that it's not worth Mm. thinking they think that for us it shouldn't be something that we should we should enlarge and then and then and then look at it but in fact for us like we we just been through like i don't know like like maybe 10 uh 10 20 percent of their whole <laughs> life and then we would like so that is like such a a, a very major thing for us now yeah yeah actually yeah, that. yeah but yeah and especially nowadays when when people are talking so much about mental health and mm-hmm. all if we, we just say like we're feeling depressed or something like this they say no you're not you're just <laughs> being too stressed and you work through yes. it and you will be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Correct. So, actually, to answer what Anji asked me before we define what the belittle, right? mm-hmm. I don't really have experience of being being belittled because I mean belittling my decision. Mm-hmm. Mm, in general, they are quite supportive in terms of like what I want to do for my career and studies, which I'm mm-hmm. really mm-hmm. grateful for. But then there are also times where they belittle other decisions <laughs> which are not career and study related, right? It's just like me deciding to like go for. I remember I want to go for a volunteer in a vaccination center. Oh. Yeah, oh, okay, so it's okay. like oh my god, that time is quite bad, ah. Huh? <laughs> 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 like, is... Hope your parents don't hear this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what Anji said, like my family are coming from a place of like overprotecting, and also because that time COVID. It's very bad. Mm. Then, I mean, yeah. everyone is worried yeah. about, you know, yeah. safety. Yeah, yeah. Like, you wouldn't want to 
contract COVID and then that time it's still quite a serious thing. I'm like, yes, now, yes. like uh, everyone already got it. It's like, oh, nothing happens. It's just like a flu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, I mean, I hope this is not too personal, but then <laughs> I try to like <laughs> fight for myself by saying like, you know, I feel like you never trust me in my decision. Just like me being, I feel like it's like me standing up for myself. But at that point, it does feel like I'm being belittled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like something related. So you did confront it down. Yeah. Sometimes I can <laughs> I can be quiet. <laughs> I'm not really proud of how I talk today. <laughs> um I mean there's no right or wrong. Like at mm. that moment maybe yeah. I mean it's a step, I guess, because mm. like if you maybe if you never done that, if you never confronted that that way, even though you know, I don't know, confront sounds very, very <laughs> sounds very aggressive, yeah. something like that. <laughs> but then I guess because you did that, so it kind of changed many things, changed how yeah. things would turn out after that as well. Actually. I mean, for me, back then <laughs> definitely, uh, I guess that's that's a very funny process because, um, belittling you when you are young, you just never thought of. You didn't even know about this belittering. You don't don't even mm. know this thing exists. Yeah. Like, oh, your parents are belittering you. <laughs> and, then, and then you just went with the flow. It's like, oh, okay, everything is fine. You know, they're doing the right for us. And then you think that, ah, maybe whatever they say is right. We should drop this. We shouldn't do this because they are thinking, thinking, thinking the right thing for us. And then as you grew older, you realize, you, you realize something that you really want, something that's really important. Mm. It happened to me as well. And then... Um, I feel bad, you know, like, like, like just like I believe, like, like how you feel, like you know, we're exposing our parents, or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, I do. But, <laughs> but then, like, exact, uh, I guess at this point, we're not really saying like it's a growth process. Mm. Right, I say, like, even it, it may just happen to us when we grow up, when we are parents, and then our child might say the same thing to us because every stage in life, there's there's different ideas that pops up, and then at our stage, we just, I guess, our environment, our society just tells that, you know, we should start stepping out and mm. do more things. So, for me, uh, it did happen as yeah, well. Like, I'm so when curious I was... about your. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now that you're curious, you make me more stressed than like, 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 oh my god, how, how should I say mine? So, I guess um, there, there was quite a few. I felt really bad. <laughs> uh, there's like sorry, a few, few few times in my life, but I'll I'll highlight the more recent one, I guess, because when I was like running my company, I think yeah. it's, it's like two years ago already. Oh my oh, God. Crazy, oh, crazy. Two years ago already. Oh. <laughs> like time just flies. But then like, I guess, because I don't know, like uh, when I was running my business, I mean, it was cool being in control, doing things. But then, I mean, my mom, mm-hmm. my mom just have this personality that is like slightly more stubborn and then like prefer to like, and then I guess she's more direct like, mm-hmm. when, when she speaks and all that. So when I was doing certain things, uh, I was getting a job bought as helping me and mm-hmm. then I was like planning to expand something like that. When I shared about all this idea, she was like the way she speaks just show that she has very strong uh opposition in in all my ideas and then she is quite how do i say it you can it shows that she's not very confident mm. of what i'm about to do yeah. thinking that eh, you know you can't do it but like you, you never thought through like that i guess that's that's what what defined my my bit mm. belittering definition early on yeah. in, in 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 this episode mm. as well so then yeah definitely that 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 night I even cried, you know, thinking like, you know, why do I not like why am I not why doesn't she trust me mm, from there? Because like yeah. I guess even though sometimes we say that um like we find uh like like sometimes parents just don't trust us and all this and then we find comfort in friends and all mm. that, but ultimately um people which you care about the most, you care about how they trust you, yeah. you care about what they say as well and then like I believe for many of us, mm. like parents is like one of them up there. Like, oh, yep. like if you if your parents agree with what you say, you if your parents trust you, like give you that confidence, you'll be like, oh my god, yeah. Yeah, this certainly will work. The amount no of support what. And then is you very just, different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because like that thing is important to you, and if you feel like your parents are supporting you as well, you you definitely be a lot more confident mm. in in accomplishing that thing. Mm. So at that moment, I was like, yeah, quite. <laughs> really upset yeah. and then the next day kind of yeah <laughs> confronted that as well but I'm not sure I'm not sure about your situation it's not I, well, pers- well personally I felt like mine is a lot more serious mm. a lot more aggressive mm-hmm. we like we, we we went through a whole thing talking about it discussing yeah. about this um, and then like uh, I mean like because by 
you know, my mom is quite a bit slightly stubborn and all this. My 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 dad knew knew about it as well. So like we we talked about it, and then my dad had conversation with my mom as well, and then I talked to my dad after that. I mean, it's it's great that we had this. Otherwise, I guess I wouldn't be here today mm. with 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 Varine and she mm. right here in the UK. So, um, definitely, like we wouldn't like to go through all this kind of stuff, mm. but, um. I don't know, like, going back, like, belittering, um... (laughs) How to say it? I guess, um, I mean, definitely, they did belittle us, and and by that time, I was already 20, Mm. like, they are still kind of, like, belittering, like, I, in in, in a sense, you say that, oh, that's actually quite serious, because, like, you know, beyond 18, you're, like, supposed to be an adult, I guess they should be a lot more supportive in things, Mm. something like that, and then they still... Have this mindset that um, you're a child, and then you're, mm. you're, you're, you're they don't trust whatever you do. Um, even though um, it's still quite bad per se, but and then I guess in Asian family we we kind of care about this family thing yes. quite importantly. Mm. We don't want to ruin yeah. our so-called family yeah. because it will you know turn bad, and then like family is one of the most important thing mm. for Asian family. Mm. But I guess confronting is important mm. because otherwise we would stay in that stage so not to say argument is necessary but mm. <laughs> like, like sometimes it's important to lay out the truth and then discuss about some serious stuff yeah yeah and then then, then like, just get it over with and then hopefully that we grow into another stage yeah. i'm not sure if i'm so specific because like i feel like it's so hard to like say all this kind of thing where you feel like oh Am I like spilling up the whole truth and I like would it like would it like hurt my parents mm. or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, that is how how my experience went. Mm. But uh it's great Lala. After this, I think something else happened after that as well. <laughs> but then uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that that, that was a different case. Mm. Huh? But then at least mm, like it's it will it will happen. Huh? It's just like how when if you are sad, eventually you have to let it out because yeah. it just won't be. Hmm. You you can't store that in your in in yourself forever. You just have to let it out. So, uh, it's more about how we let it out yes. instead of whether we let let it out. Something like that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god! After after listening to both <laughs> our stories, I feel like mine is like just so 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 <laughs> normal. No, it's yeah, still valid. It's still valid. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Okay, um, from what I remember, mm-hmm. most of the time my parents don't oh. really like explicitly say something or do something that, mm-hmm. that you perceive as, as being belated. But mm-hmm. um, but this thing, it happened a few times that after that, only I feel like, oh, I feel like they are belittering me mm-hmm. like after I grew up when I look back. Mm-hmm. So I remember <laughs> it's during secondary school years. So at that time I was like, you know... Um, you have the time, you have the energy and all. You just want to do a lot of stuff. You just want to join um, different kinds of society, kind of societies and try things out, um, be, be a leader or something. You just feel different. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. You, you want to do that because like in primary school, you don't have the chance to do that and you feel mm-hmm. like every day is just the same. But in secondary school, everything is slightly different because you, you grew up and you kind of have a bit of control over what you're doing and all. So I remember I was um, very active um, in different kinds of societies. And yeah, I would say um, I can consider myself doing still quite well in both academic and um, those extra stuff that I was doing back, back then. Yeah, But um, whenever um, there's like um, maybe AGM or what that we run for those positions and all, my parents would just say something like, I, you're always uh, just being very busybody. I feel like, I put so much hard work in that and mm. you're just telling me yeah. that being, being busy about yeah. mm-hmm. That actually means a lot to me, but mm. you, you say that's nothing at all. I'm mm. like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I feel kind of sad listening to that a few times, but I didn't really mm, think about it mm. until I grew up. I feel like, oh, that I, that's actually <laughs> yeah. something related to me. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it, it's very important for you and you do it <clears throat> because like mm. you have the ability to do it. So when mm. they are like disregarding it, it's like they are like not acknowledging your effort and your passion. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it can yeah. be a quite hurtful experience, I feel. 
But, but I, I don't really know what happened after that. Like after a few years, and especially when we we're in university time, mm -hmm. my parents become very surprised. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether. So, so in your case, you never like confronted and then yeah, they made I, a change. No. I never really confronted. I think, I think there's just one real, real argument that's related to me choosing a university. <laughs> that's the only thing that I confronted them and oh, okay. yeah, have an argument. But, after, argument. but overall, we actually... <laughs> Now we really argue. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, so I don't really know what, what, what's actually happening mm. that they change. <laughs> they become very lovely, very supportive. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, yeah. and, and I, I can say like towards my brothers, they are, they are doing the same thing. Yeah. Mm. So okay. I'm like, so, okay. <laughs> what actually happened, I don't mm. know. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. We should probably have one episode where we invite them up. I don't know. <laughs> it's quite scary. Oh. True. I feel like like for Andrew's situation, it's a bit similar like my situation because mm -hmm. both our mom mm -hmm. they are a bit skeptical, <laughs> a bit skeptical <laughs> with our decision, and also okay, my yeah, mom is yeah, also I quite. I mean, I I would use the word skeptical because like sometimes when I propose some new ideas and then she didn't really know and not familiar about it, immediately she will okay. like picture the worst case scenario, yeah. and then okay, she will okay, like sort okay. of like. Hoping that I won't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I can relate to Andrew's situation. But then for Angie, mm. it's like she's like, she only be <laughs> looking back and realize that, oh, actually. Yeah, like, like, like never, never, there, there, there's yeah. never actually something that happened and then mm. like, oh, I'm gonna fight for yeah, it. Yeah, and something yeah. like that. It was more like, oh, so that did happen and yeah. then I didn't fight for it. <laughs> I should have fight for it, but then it's too late. And yeah. then suddenly, yeah. It just so happened that right now I no longer need to fight for it, and then things just worked out well. I yes. guess how, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, and she's parents they reach, they have some growth without any conflict. <laughs> but then us, for me and Andrew, we both uh, us and our parents have growth, but it's not like a smooth journey, like It's like yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, like like what do you think of how they belittled us, like? Could it be better? Because like we, uh, I, I guess we need to look at both perspectives. Because mm. you know? like, because I guess they grew up in this environment where it's been always like, oh, adult judging you, what you have to yeah. do, and then you have to follow that. And then right now, suddenly we just we just come out in this open world where there's internet and everything. We absorb uh, information from 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 all parts of the world, and then seeing like there's many things that we can do, we want to do, mm. and so like, what do you think of? how they so-called belittled us back then. <laughs> what do I think about that? Mm -hmm. mm. I like that you highlight about our own parents' past. Yeah, because mm -hmm. like, you know, back then, um, our parents, I don't, most of them, they don't come from a very well, well-off family. You know, like back then, a lot yeah, of them yeah. struggle for basic needs. Mm -hmm. financial income, food, yeah. even education yeah. also mm -hmm. is like, they cannot, yeah. it's not a default, you know. So, mm -hmm. I feel like back then, they will experience the being belittled by their parents because meeting the basic needs is the priority. So, like, they cannot yeah, pursue okay. their dream. They cannot prioritize their own feelings. Mm, okay. Yeah, you know, so back then, there are no internet, like you say, internet, technology, everything. They have no access to this kind of thing. So they have no knowledge about mental health, no knowledge about parenting, everything. Yeah, so they grow up this way. So some parents, they, they, they are not aware about it. They, they, they didn't know that it was a form of belittling. They didn't know that this kind of parenting style might be hurtful for the children. They just yeah. go... I mean, another thing is that, like, everyone else everywhere oh, around them yeah. are doing yes, the same thing. Yeah. You can't really... There's no such thing as no, yeah. no, novel uh, parenting ways that you can mm. learn as well. Correct. Yeah. yeah, and if back then you are too... You give too much freedom for your kids, right? I feel like you're, in fact, being <laughs> criticized by other people. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah true, true. So, they grow up... So I believe that's mm. that social pressure mm. aspect as yes. well. The, especially in the community, like Asian community, la, like the Chinese community. Mm. Yeah, so they didn't know that they were being belittled. So, mm. yeah, you know, I grew up fine. 
So like, <laughs> yeah. Last time we also grew up like that, ma. Why now you cannot? Mm. Why now you cannot mm. tahan? Right. <laughs> so yeah, I think some of them exactly. they're not aware. They are not aware of it. Mm. But some they are aware, and then they change. Mm. Yeah. So it, I think the it goes. There are two possibilities left. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. When when you talk about those like past and um, like their childhood and all, actually reminds me of my dad, mm. my dad's family. Like, um, because mm. because um, it is quite a huge family. As in, like, um, my grandmother has has eight children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my my dad happened to be the youngest one. Mm. So actually, like my aunt and all, they have to since very very young. They have to actually work. Mm. In order to help to support the whole family, mm. so they don't really have the chance to study at, at all. Mm. Yeah. So like nowadays, although although they they understand how important it is um, it is for for us to be educated and all, but sometimes when you hear them saying something, you just feel like, you know, <laughs> yeah. But you can't really blame them because of their ex uh, past experiences and the way they grew mm. up and um, the exposure that they get. In, in different kind of stuff and all, yeah. Yeah, very kind. Like, how to say? Uh, I feel like empathy is the word for this situation. Mm-hmm. Like they don't know how to empathize mm-hmm. with their children because mm-hmm. back then, right? Mm-hmm. Were they being empathized? No. Mm-hmm. But do they want mm-hmm. to be empathized? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, yeah. so every time when we go through the same thing as them, like back then they cannot mm. pursue their dream, but now we can pursue our dream, right? Mm. So it's so, I feel it's just not really professional perspective. <laughs> just feel like some part of them also feel sad, right? Like it reminds them of their mm-hmm. past. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. now you're lucky lah, you're Oh, don't need to yeah. worry about money. <laughs> exactly. Don't need to worry about ah, uh, got eh, a handphone, iPad. <laughs> then you can pursue your dream, right? Become YouTuber, TikToker, right? But then back then, you think I can choose this kind of dream, ah? You think that back then I can, uh, just lie down and feel sad, ah? It's like you know that it reminds them of the past, the the part of them where it's not hurt. So mm. I feel like in a way they are also hurt. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and and I feel like sometimes mm, they might just want to suppress that feeling. Mm. Yeah, but at the same time, it's actually coming out. So the way that they express it to towards others become a very negative one. Yeah, mm-hmm. right, right. because they, they just can't find that balance because they just feel have that feeling. Mm. In. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Some parents just felt like it's the right thing to do because it's how they were treated back then. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> interesting, interesting. I I really love that perspective where you talk about, and like, cause like last time they literally yeah. have to just care about their living, care about living. Like, oh, there's no no other way. Like like we just we just need food on the table. Yeah, like, yeah. like 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 uh, we like like why 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 do you need to care about like what to do? That's just one way to do. You just need to get food on the table. Yes, I really like that. And yeah, I guess that really caused like how they just trusted the way of like 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 so called. Uh, parenting, mm. like, like bel- belittling parenting, I guess, mm. and then like this just works. And then, as as they came into this, uh, our society, I guess they never, um, yeah, I guess one thing is that yeah they never really get to pursue pursue that dream. They feel sad as well. And second thing is like I guess they just never thought of that. Mm. That is actually possible. Yeah, they they just never thought that that's possible. So when it comes to us, they they, they still think you know like. Back then, it wasn't possible for us. So mm. I guess, like, you shouldn't do that. You know, it's not safe. Like, so it's better to do our way. You know, like, yeah, we, 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 like, like, even though we went, like, even though back then our parents did when when we're they're doing their way, they just got food on our table. But then we followed their way, and then now we got food on our table. We got a better house, something like that. So it's you know, it's better. Like, you doesn't you don't have to go and seek the for the life you want. You can just follow our way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just, like the priority is different already compared to. Last time compared to now, right? Last time, everything is like mm. food and then finance, mm. income. So it's like no room for no room for mental health, no room for dreams. Mm. Yeah, so mm. now we are no longer struggling with with basic needs thanks to our parents, mm. actually. Yeah. So we, c- <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can pursue and then we can focus on things that are not really, how to say, convincing in, in the sense like they cannot really secure <laughs> the financial income and mm, yeah okay. yeah 
Yeah. That's how I see. It's funny. Yeah. It's funny how you think, right? Yeah, because they 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 did the hard way, the so called the so called traditional way, which uh which caused us to feel like they are belittling us, that allowed us to do what we want today. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's funny. But mm-hmm. something just just come up in my mind, like we we say that they they belittled us in in terms of like um they they feel like our our feelings are not important at all. Mm-hmm. I, I'm just curious, like do do your parents actually tell you about how they feel? Ah, yeah. <laughs> this is a beautiful one. This is a beautiful one. Short answer. No. <laughs> 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 okay. Um. Yeah, when, when I think about it, yeah. They never really tell. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's why I said that we should we should get them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's so scary though. Oh it is. Uh, I I'm pretty sure it will uh, like it will be an episode where 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 everyone just end up crying somewhere. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I, it is true that we never actually like right now. Even though what we are saying, you know, where we're talking about how they, how they like why they belittled us, why they, uh, like, like how, how they belittled us. But then we actually never, to be honest, we never went to see it. Like, all these are just assumptions. Mm, we never actually yeah. see it from their perspective. Yeah. We never actually talk to them mm-hmm. and then see how they feel. And, like, literally, even this topic is just like, what do we think about yeah. Asian way of belittling? Like, like it's, it's, it's all from our perspective, yeah. isn't it? Mm. <laughs> True, but I think, like, Anchi's question is very on point because um you know like in asian community it's definitely not a comfortable thing to share how we feel (laughs) because i did uh, earlier andrew bring up the fact that in the asian community Mm -hmm. the relationships are very important the harmony between the family is very important so like sharing your own feelings is not not a norm. Yeah, we care about like the bigger picture. Yeah. Like, oh, how how it looks is better than how it actually <laughs> feels. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then sometimes, um, it's not normal for our parents to listen to how they make us feel in a mm. objective okay. way. You know, like when you say like you know, mom, that day when you say this kind of thing, it kind of it kind of hurts me. <laughs> so like their immediate mm. response is like mm. to defend. It's like no, I'm I like. I'm doing this for yeah. good, you know. And, yeah, 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 you think I want to stop you? No, actually, uh, that, like, is they will take it in a way that like we are. I'm just very generalizing, but sometimes okay. they will feel like we are actually we are like criticizing them, but actually we are just wanting to express our feelings and then sort of like resolve mm-hmm. that thing in our heart. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. It's not a norm for them to have this kind of open communication, uh, like heart to heart talk. With friends, yeah. we can. Yeah. With parents, yeah. we cannot. <laughs> a bit hard, like, like, there are young parents who can do that. Yeah, oh, they okay. are, they are. But then. Mm, That's amazing. Yeah, it is. Uh, but yeah. I think majority, it's, it takes time. It takes time. Mm. Mm. But since you talk about the young, young, young children thing, I guess um, one thing that we eventually have to face is that one day we will be parents as well. And then, like, so um, I guess, like, and one thing is that, you know, every, 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 every time when we're saying this is easy, we say that, you know, next time when we're adults, when we're, we're parents, mm. when we have child, we wouldn't want to belittle them. But, like, like, how would we actually do to prevent that? Like, 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 what, what, like, like, yeah, what do you think like is the best way for us? Like from our experience, mm. now now that so called we know that oh we are getting belittled now as we grow <laughs> up, as we become parents, like so how how can we try to prevent that? How do we try to prevent that in our children? Mm. In this episode, we had the honor to invite Vereen's friend Yumi, who is currently undertaking a counseling course to be part of this podcast episode where we discuss about Asian's way of belittling their children. In the next episode, we shall dive deeper in this topic by putting ourselves in the shoes of a parent and think how would we act in order to try not to belittle our children in the future. Make sure to join us if you don't want to miss out on this episode next week. Thank you for listening to this episode of the podcast. If you enjoyed, do share with your friends and family and leave us a review on the Apple Podcast. If you are not using an Apple device, you can leave a review on the Apple Podcast website with the link in the show notes. If you have any feedback or thoughts which you hope that we'll discuss in the future, feel free to email them to us at 
hello at ingthoughts.com or alternatively, you can send us a private message on our Facebook, Instagram or Twitter with the username of ingthoughtspod. Thanks again and see you all next week. Bye-bye.